Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Solves Your Problems here. I'm really sorry that I haven't done a video in a while. I've been pretty busy with computer tech stuff and being nerd like that. But um, So today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on how to listen to your iTunes music on your computer and like um, use it in videos or whatever. Whatever you want to do with it. A lot of people don't know how to do this, but you know, for others it's pretty simple. So I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to open up your file explorer and click music. And then if you installed iTunes and you synced your iPod, you'll have an iTunes folder here. Then you'll click iTunes Media, and then you'll have all these artists here. Since I am on my Me Solves Your Problems account, I do not have any music here because I'm boring. So I'm going to go on my other user account. Find that. Oh, I'm sorry if stuff's blurred out. I don't really want you to stalk my files. So this is a step. You, you open up your file explorer, click music, and then iTunes iTunes Media, you have all these artists here. You just kind of like go here and then they have albums. You can click in there and then you have your file. So, for example, if you want this song, I'm going to blur the title out because I don't want you guys and um, I don't want YouTube getting copyright issues. So, right there, it's on your computer. You'll have it forever. But if you want to make it simpler, you can just go back to my music. I'm going to go on here, this one my music and then I want to hit control V or paste it copy paste it and you'll have it there and you can listen to it all you want um if you're advanced more advanced you can actually go in your iTunes thing and set up a shortcut new shortcut C drive but I can't type today backslash users backslash my username backslash music backslash iTunes backslash iTunes media backslash and so right here you just have your user account my things blurred out so that'll be a shortcut to your iTunes music so just hit next and it'll um, create the shortcut and you have a little folder there and it's pretty awesome to open it and you'll have all your Users, not users, I'm sorry, I cannot talk today. Um, your music, right there. Uh, yeah, so that's how you get your iPod music to your um, computer and be able to listen to it pretty simply. And uh, it's pretty simple, but you know, for others, you don't really know how to do it, but you know, now you do. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Um, be sure to check back for more. I'll be doing some more videos today because I haven't done some in a while and I have a lot that I want to do. So, be sure if you like this video to actually like it, because, you know, you're kind of dumb if you don't, because that's what the like button's for. And, yeah, thanks. And subscribe, please subscribe. I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I want subscribers, so I can share my knowledge with you guys, because that's what I want to do. Yeah, I'm rambling on now, I'm sorry. Goodbye.